Hi, just want to record a short video regarding how to power your DS100 or any of the DS100 derivatives uh, soldering iron with your charger. Okay, because I have been getting a lot of questions uh, regarding how to do this, so I might as well just make a video out of it. So, usually what you would do is you get a battery and you power your DS100 with the battery by just plugging it in. But this causes your battery to be drained. Uh, I mean, as long as because the TS100, although it has a sleep function, if you install the Radim firmware, uh, it still could potentially drain your battery dry, and that is not good, right? So, what's the better way to do it? With your charger. So, what you need is, you, because the uh, XT60 XT on the TS100 and your battery charger is both male. You need a female to female converter like this. Plug it in. Alright, and over here, go to the menu. Uh, this is an ISDT charger, but uh, you could do the same for any other charger. Okay, so you go to task, DC power, and you want to set the voltage to around 24 volts. Okay, because that would allow the TS100 to work at a full 65 watts. As for the current, anything above 3 amps should be fine. Okay, turn on the output. And as you can see, TS100 is on. And we are drawing a full 60 watts, if you uh, saw just now. And yep, that's about it. Alright, just to show you how to do it on the, another charger. So this is a Toki RCM8, this is an older version. Okay, so same thing, you plug it in, go to the charger, sorry, go to output, power, custom, and set it to 24 volts. 5, 5, amps, uh, 5 amps is fine, so let's just start. And again, we see the TS100 works. So, if this video is helpful, uh, please give the video a like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more interesting videos just like this. Until the next video, thanks.